Good evening and a very warm welcome to your special edition of News with Television Tonga. Making headlines late, Bishop of the Diocese of Tonga and Niue laid to rest this morning at the Kalevali Cemetery. 41 year old father died last night from heart problems after a last swim with his five children. And final bingo radio cash prizes for 2013 awarded to the winners yesterday. These are more stories later on in this bulletin. I'm for the finger. The late Bishop of the Diocese of Tonga and Niwe, Bishop Dr. Swanelilo Foliaki, was laid to rest this morning at the Calvary Cemetery. Sinlato tells you more. Their Majesties, King Tupo VI and Queen Anasipao, this morning were present at the Roman Catholic Church Farewell Mass to the late Bishop Dr. Soanelilo Foliaki at the Immaculate Conception of Mary Cathedral in Maofanga. Leading the Mass was the current Bishop of the Diocese of Tonga and Niue, Soane Patita Mafi. In 2007, I remembered when the late bishop was given the cross here. He then expressed the importance and significance of the job and his role to become a good shepherd to the church members. May you rest in peace and we love you. After the farewell mass, the late bishop was carried by Paul Barris on his casket to the cemetery and led by the Royal Corps of Musicians. The head of the Maofanga Parish Committee, Fanua Malubo, delivered the vote of thanks and acknowledged the gracious presence of their majesties in the funeral together with Her Royal Highness and many guests. Relatives of the late bishop from overseas were also present at the farewell mass. The Immaculate Conception of Mary Cathedral was packed inside and out with members of the Catholic parishes in Tongatapu and Ewa. Representatives from the Outer Islands parishes were also in Ukalofa to bid their final farewell to the bishop. The Free Wesleyan Church president, Reverend Dr. Ahio, was amongst church leaders attending the service. Last night, a mass was held for the late bishop and attended by Her Royal Highness, the Princess Latu Fuipeka. Late Bishop Dr. Sani Lilo Foliaki died at the age of 80 after being appointed priest for 54 years. Dr. Sani Lilo Foliaki was the second youngest of 10 children of Soane and Sosefina Foliaki of Maafanga. A 41 year old husband and father to five children died last night while being rushed to the hospital after feeling uncomfortable while swimming with his children at the swimming pool in Malfanga. The acting superintendent of uh, Nukalofa Police Station, Inspector David Afita, told Radio Tonga News that the incident was reported to police at around 7 30 last night. Inspector Fifita says information reveals that the father felt unease and tried to get out of sea yesterday. A call was made to the hospital when ambulance arrived at the scene to rush the 41-year-old for an urgent medical attention while the children tried to reach their mother. Inspector Fifita says the deceased passed away in the street before arriving at the hospital, where information reveals that his heartbeat was very weak. The 41-year-old is from Fatomo but resided in Fangaloto. The Free Wesley and Church of Tonga today welcomed those that will lead the usual end of year prayer service to Farewell 2013 and Welcome New Year 2014. This is part of the Christian Denominations program put in place to mark the blessings of arriving New Year despite some have mourned lost of loved ones. The Free Wesley and Church prayer service will start at 10 tonight until New Year. Meanwhile, the Catholic Church will conduct its usual New Year Mass at their respective parishes. The Mama for All Church will conduct the same program where all Mama for All members will gather in a combined service at Lamenga Malie, led by the President, Reverend Dr. Lufa Wailia Saulala, and others. All denominations will conduct the similar prayer service except the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Its members will conduct their own New Year prayer and celebrations. The Seventh-day Adventist Church will start the New Year service at sunset this afternoon. 
After their services, families then started their family New Year gatherings. A Tongan freight company and premises in Auckland was some of the many targets police busted for drugs. This was after more than 260 kilograms of drugs used to produce methamphetamine were found hidden in a shipping container on December 16th. Sinlato reports. Easy World Cargo Limited's director, Moses Ewele, told Kakalo Tonga newspaper police searched his premises and office. He says they left in his office continued on, it's normal working hours, and no charges laid against him and his company. Kanima Tonga reports it is understood police also searched premises of other Tongans in Auckland during their drug raids. Police did not say where the shipment came from, but Kanima understands the seizure and the searches made in Auckland had linked to other Tongans and Asians in Tonga. 248 kilograms of pseudoephedrine, commonly referred to as contact NT, and 16 kilograms of pure ephedrine, both of which are Class B controlled drugs and precursors used in the manufacture of methamphetamine, were discovered when a container ship arrived at ports of Auckland on Sunday morning, December 15th. Detective Inspector Bruce Good says the consignment was big enough to produce methamphetamine with a street value of approximately $72 million. For Television Tonga News, I'm Sinila Do. The final cash prizes for the bingo radio was awarded yesterday afternoon to winners who were lucky to claim the final cash prizes for 2013. Fonave Koso tells you more. The first prize was awarded by a senior radio program officer from Radio Tonga, Manu Tuyaki, to the 52 years old Sesika Fahina of Tokumololo. Mrs. Fahina told Radio and Television Tongan News how happy and blessed she is with her family to receive this prize. This radio bingo program is an easy income earner as we only spend six baanga on the bingo. But today we've won 300 baanga. I am very excited and happy when I take part in a program where our family play together in this game. The total cash prizes awarded last week was estimated at more than 1,000 baanga. For Television Tonga News, I'm Fononga Vikoso. And that's the local news. Pacific is up next. From around the region, the French Polynesian president, Keston Thor, says he will try to make it easier for Chinese travellers to get visas in his bid to revive the struggling tourism industry. Mr. Flores has spent several days in China in efforts to win support from his suggestion to get Chinese airliners to stop in Tahiti to refuel on their way to South America. The head of China's civil aviation authorities, Li Jiajing, has reportedly said resolving the visa issue is a precondition for any such development while supporting the air link plans. He said it is up to the Chinese carriers to determine if such a link is profitable. There are concerns in American Samoa that the 13% cut in food stamp benefits will hit some families hard. Under the American Samoa Nutrition Assistance Program, children and nursing mothers, the elderly and disabled get monthly food vouchers. But from next month, cuts of as much as $21 US dollars a month will be made. The American Samoa Department of Human and Social Services says the guts have been forced on them by a 5% reduction in federal funding. And that's the Pacific News. Sport is up next.